Okay, thank you. All right. Audio marker. Take one. Yeah, I hit record. Second marker. There we go. Okay. All right, we can start. We'll just drive around a few minutes. I'll ask you some questions okay. about Walmart, as you know, the subject. Two, four, three. Do you have any CSTs available? Um, can we turn down the level on this? There we go. So how many officers are in this department? Let me, let me count here for a moment. There's 12. 12 officers. Yes. And so what is the area that you're patrolling primarily? Is it the shopping center area? It's, it's the town of like Lakeside. It's mm -hmm. bordered. Uh, we have 44th oh, Avenue mm -hmm. on the south end. We have 48th Avenue on the north end. We go from Sheridan to Harlan. So it's eight blocks maybe. Eight blocks. And we have a little bit of Interstate 70. The S curves on Interstate 70 okay. from Harlan to Sheridan. How many folks live here? That that goes up and down. I think currently we have maybe 10 residents. 10 residents. Yes. So what you're primarily patrolling in the area that you're looking out for are businesses. Yes. Okay. And of those businesses, which is the biggest business? Walmart. Walmart. Yes. Approximately how many times a day are your officers called over to Walmart? I would say our average calls per day Three or four. Three, three or four, or four, times four times a day? Yes. And about how long is each one of those calls? It depends. I would say anywhere from 45 minutes to maybe an hour and a half. It depends on the type of call mm -hmm. and who's involved with the call. Juveniles, mm -hmm. if they're involved, you have to wait until you can contact a parent and have a parent respond so you can release that juvenile to the parent. Those can take anywhere from 45 minutes to a couple hours. So throughout the day, if you're getting three or four calls a day and each is taking approximately an hour, that's three or four hours a day you guys are spending over at Walmart. Very easy. Easily. 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 So has that been a drain on your police department? Um, at times, yes. Uh, yes. For us, it... It, it happened overnight. We, we were not, prior to Walmart opening up their doors, we were not a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week police agency. We shut down from the hours of 2 a.m. till about 6 a.m. And we had officers that were on call because we had no business. When Walmart opened their doors three years ago, mm -hmm. we went to 24-7. Wow. So how much did that increase your business, so to speak? <laughs> it, it, we grew up overnight. We went, it, it was like going from zero to 60 in a blink of an eye. So how many police officers did you employ before Walmart? We had less full-time officers. Mm -hmm. And to explain that, mm -hmm. uh, we have... Uh, full-time officers and then that is supplemented by part-time officers so at that particular point in time we probably were averaging about three maybe four full-time officers that were actually assigned to patrol and we were supplemented by about I'd say six or seven part-time officers when Walmart opened their doors we immediately transitioned uh, from three full-time officers that were actually assigned to patrol to Five. So when Walmart first opened, did you know that you were going to be spending so many resources and so many man hours over at Walmart? I don't believe, I don't think we were ready. Not, no, we weren't ready at all. No. That's fair, because who would have known that so much crime takes place at Walmart? There's no way, I don't think anybody could have predicted that for us. There's, there's no way. Do you have a solution in terms of how Walmart can uh, 
have less crime or, or use your resources less? Well, I think there's a number of things that can be done. We, we have uh, done a very good job of increasing our visibility. So once we realized the, that Walmart was going to draw on our resources, we've, done, we've changed how we've patrolled. Mm -hmm. uh, to give a good example of this, we spent a lot of time with traffic enforcement. We've reduced that amount of time, and now we've given that time that we were given to traffic enforcement to literally patrolling Walmart in and out of the parking lots, making sure we're contacting people. The unique thing about Walmart, which I was unaware of, but I learned, is nationwide, Walmart has a overnight policy where people can come in and spend the night in the parking lot overnight. Is that a good idea? We, we, our Walmart does not have an overnight policy. Okay, good. We, we uh, passed an ordinance that's, that uh, allows us to move people along. We don't allow that overnight presence. And, and I'll be very candid with you. It, it wasn't just for us. It wasn't just um, uh, the shoplifting and all the things that are subsequent from contacting people and shoplifting. We saw an increase in some of the uh, drug activity in the parking lot. For a while there, uh, there was uh, uh, solicitation activity because of the overnight piece. Yeah. So it really changed the complexion of our of our town and, and definitely our call load and, and how we how we policed. So if all WalMarts would shut down their parking lots at night, you'd think there would be a, a vast reduction of crime. Oh, I believe that would help. I believe that would help. But I understand they're attempting to be accommodating because they're all over the nation and when people get tired. It, it, who probably are unable to get a hotel or that expense, um, it allows people to sleep in their car and that sounds, find some, some refuge. Sounds like a recipe for disaster to me. <laughs> you it know? is. It but there's is. a reason why Target, for example, doesn't allow that. Right. Target does not allow people to spend the night in their parking lots. Correct. They lock them down. You're Hence, correct. there's no crime in the middle of the night at Target. You don't have to worry about things like uh, drug trafficking or solicitation going right. on. You're correct. You're correct. And those problems that come along with that. Yeah. Yeah. What about, um, is Walmart considering hiring off-duty cops, for example, or increasing the number of employees or security people in Walmart? Would that help reduce crime? Walmart is very aggressive in, in, in how they do their loss prevention. So they staff very well, and that's great for Walmart. It allows them to, one, make more contacts and definitely have a higher recovery mm -hmm. of losses. Mm -hmm. That also means that they call the police, and, and I don't think we have stayed in step with that. But should you have to? Shouldn't they have their own security people that they pay for so that they're not, people aren't as likely to be shoplifters if they see security people? And, and, and I'm sure that would be a deterrent for, for most stores. Yeah. There, are a lot, there are a lot of stores nationwide, including stores here, who, have, who do hire off-duty police officers to work inside the store and walk around and be a part of that. Sure. So today, um, you've already had two calls yes. to Walmart, um, and it's not even nighttime yet. <laughs> so you're expecting that while I'm here visiting you today, we may get another call. More than likely. More than likely. Unless I've jinxed us. <laughs> and, and that would probably be, what, shoplifting? Yes. Is that the majority of types of crimes you see there? It is. It's, it's usually a, a jump-off spot. Unfortunately for us, a lot of our shoplifting calls turn into a lot of felony calls. So a lot of petty offenses or misdemeanor offenses turn into felony calls because they turn into robberies. People are in possession of, of controlled substances, drugs. It's like a domino effect. Exactly. Weapons. We, 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 we've arrested a, a, a number of people in the Walmart store that were knives, guns, machetes, you name it. How about in the parking lot too? Hasn't there been road rage incidents here? Oh, no doubt. It ha that happens a lot as well. It usually, we usually average about 
maybe one or two a weekend where there's a disturbance. We receive a call, yeah. a disturbance in the parking lot. Fighting or drugs or something, domestic? Fighting, with domestics. We get it all. People leaving their children locked in cars uh, or pets locked in cars. I mean, oh, we, wow. we see it all. Yes. So I guess the bottom line is most people, most folks watching this today, would be surprised to know that there's so much crime that happens at Walmart and they would also be surprised to know that their tax dollars actually go to police officers that get called into Walmart throughout the day to also help them rather than out patrolling the streets. We spend a lot of time in Walmart. That's fair to and say. It's fair to say. And, and I would say not just here locally, but even nationwide. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, information and, and statistics that show that that happens nationwide. And we are going all around the country. So I'm sure Larry told you that this is part of a story where we've gone to Alabama and uh, different cities to do the same story. And we're seeing this across the country. So it's not just here at Lakeside. Oh, it's at in big cities. It's in smaller towns. And it's kind of uh, surprising to people that I've talked to when they say, "What you know, what is the story? You know, Walmart crime that's pulling resources from police forces. Here's one of the most fascinating things that I've learned in, in having a Walmart in our town, which boggles my mind, is people come from all over to shop at our Walmart as well. Uh, we are a very small town. And when we contact people and make arrests, I'm always awed or surprised. To where see where they came from. All across the nation and all across Colorado. Just to come to this Walmart. Just to come to our Walmart. And you've probably had to pass four or five Walmarts to get to ours. That's amazing. Do they just think it's an easy target here? I think initially, probably. probably. Smaller town, kind of off the off the map a little bit in terms of um, not being really near a big city. And to test our police department as well. Oh, okay. Well, no doubt. Wow. No doubt. When you spend, especially when you have groups that travel around, mm -hmm. uh, for lack of a better word, gypsies or grifters or. or, mm -hmm. or whatever the mm -hmm. correct terminology is now. Mm -hmm. I think initially we were tested. Wow. No doubt. You guys have been busy. We have been. Good for you.